Welcome to the very last day in Japan. So at this point you might be a little lost and wondering why we're on a plane. Well there's been a bit of a time skip since the Kyoto arc and I think the best way to get you all up to speed is for a good old fashioned montage. And that about wraps up the four days we spent stumbling around Osaka. To be honest, I don't really remember much of it, but from the clips it looks like we had a good time. After landing in Tokyo and dropping our bags off at the hotel, we plotted course for what might be our highest anticipated stop, the Studio Ghibli Museum. Our stomachs were growling as we got off at the Kichijoji station, so we stopped off at a popular Japanese fast food restaurant, Yoshinoya. While scarfing down my food, I pulled out my anime location map and noticed that we were practically sitting on top of a location from Hinamatsuri. We only had to walk a few minutes before I recognized the spot from Nita's Drunken Parade. Much to Ari's chagrin, rather than heading straight to the museum, I plotted a route in the opposite direction, which would take us through the park from everyone's favorite anime, Masamune Kun's Revenge, and down to the middle school from Tsukigakire. Filming this location was the only time on the trip that I feared getting arrested for being a pervert. Peeking through this fence didn't help. Excitement levels were high as we headed towards the Ghibli Museum, for real this time. I smell a Masamune-kun location. <laughs> Everyone's favorite show! <laughs> fat at the beginning, and yes. then your revenge, he got skinny, he got skinny and skinny. hot. So what's not to love? And then there's also the live action version, which is even better. Nice. 
finding real life locations from IRLS movie in the Wrench fan film. I know where our next trip is. <laughs> Unfortunately, you aren't allowed to film inside the museum, but that actually might be for the best, because this is something every anime fan should experience for themselves, and watching a video tour really wouldn't capture the magic. Theater Inside screens a different Ghibli short film every few months, which you can access with a ticket made out of Ghibli film strips. If we get to choose, we have to both pick Ponyo and then I can take the better one. Um, what? Pretty exhausted from such a long day, we mustered up the strength to hit one last touristy anime location before bed. Waking up bright and early, we put some food in our bellies and planned out today's expedition. Our vantage point above Shibuya Crossing didn't provide us with much to go on, so our first goal was to find the best spot to survey the land for anime locations. How many locations are there we can see? All of them. Ari wasn't wrong. From the top of the sky tree, we could pretty much see all of downtown Tokyo, but there was one thing in particular that caught our eye. A strange golden carrot looking thing about the size of a building. We knew we must just be losing our minds, but couldn't help but confirm for ourselves. So without hesitation, we headed due west. Down the elevator, but then due west. Yep, that's a golden carrot. After a quick Google search, it turns out that's supposed to be a flame, but I'm just not seeing it. Right next to the Golden Carrot lay the Azumabashi Bridge, a location prominently featured in Sara's anime. Pushing onward, we found a few more Sars Anime locations and participated in the local festivities. The Golden Kappa statue from Sara's anime is actually real, but sadly Ari and I weren't able to find what alley it was in. With only a few hours left until our flight, Ari and I explored the area surrounding the bus terminal in Ginza. We somehow found ourselves inside the Hemerikyu Gardens, a place I had never heard of before, but honestly I don't think there's anywhere else I'd rather have spent my last couple hours in Japan. Doesn't like your preferring sweat. With the sun now well across the sky, it was finally time to get on the airport shuttle and head home. 
Despite how sad I felt to be leaving, I could not have asked for a better first trip to Japan. And I was so content in knowing that Ari and I squeezed every last drop out of this trip that we could, and I wasn't leaving with any regrets. Before our flight even took off, I found myself planning our next trip to Japan, and the Anime Expedition Season 2. I want to sincerely thank every single person that's been watching this series. I had an absolute blast making it, and I'm so excited to make a second season. Until then, I do plan to continue making content on this channel. I've got a couple ideas in a similar vein to this series, but also hope to branch out a bit. But don't worry, weebs, it'll definitely all be anime related. If you'd like to support me and future expeditions, please consider subscribing and sharing the series with your friends. And if you're feeling even more generous, I've also got a link to my Patreon in the description where I plan to share all the maps and itineraries from this trip, as well as plan what anime to expeditionize in the next one. Thank you so much for joining me on the very first anime expedition.